So in today's video, we're going to be going over the basics of nutrition. And inside of that, we're going to be talking about organic and inorganic substances. And this comes from the topic of environmental chemistry. So let's get started with our video. So first of all, what is environmental chemistry? So environmental chemistry involves the study of effects that chemicals have on the air, water, and soil, and how they can impact the environment and humans' health. So that's just a little bit of what environmental chemistry is. So just before we start talking about our nutrient stuff, so let's first look at the chemical composition of humans. So the human body is a factor of chemicals. Most of us is made out of carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. And some others will also be listed on the screen. So that's a little bit of what the human body is consistent of. So also food is made out of chemicals. And during digestion, food is broken down into small soluble molecules which pass into the bloodstream. So in the blood, these chemicals or nutrients are used for energy, growth, bodybuilding, and cell repair. So now nutrients can be divided into two major groups. And these two major groups are organic substances and inorganic substances. So let's start looking a little bit into organic substances first. So now covering over organic substances, organic chemicals are produced by green plants by photosynthesis. And animals can modify these chemicals, break them down, and use the energy from them. And also all organic substances contain of carbon atoms. So that's just a little bit of what organic substances are. And furthermore in organic substances, there are four major categories of carbon containing nutrients. And these four categories are carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and vitamins. So those are the four, basically everything that's inside of organic nutrients. So let's get started one by one for each one of them. So let's first look at carbohydrates. So for carbohydrates, uh, some examples of them are rice, bread, pasta, fruits, veggies, sugars, and there's even more. And carbohydrates such as starch from potatoes and flour made from wheat or sugars from fruits and vegetables are energy sources in your body. And we need a certain level of carbohydrates to survive. So basically, in a short term, um, carbohydrates are just like a short term of energy supply. So that's just a little bit of what carbohydrates are. So now let's cover over what proteins are. So proteins found in meats, eggs, nuts, and legumes are necessary for their amino acids. Amino acids are important compounds for making enzymes and other protein that the body needs. And so basically, in summary, proteins are helpful for muscle formation. And here's some pictures of different types of protein, like where you can find them. So there's eggs, there's uh, nuts, and there's also meat. So that's just a little bit of what proteins are. So now what are lipids? So lipids are from things like oil, milk, cheese, butter, nuts, avocados, and many others. And basically lipids act as a long-term storage of energy. And we also use lipids in making cell membranes as well as other useful chemicals. And so these are some examples of what lipids look like. So that just covers uh, what lipids are. So now we're gonna cover what vitamins are. So this is the fourth one. So vitamins, they are especially rich in green leafy vegetables like spinach, kale, broccoli, and other mixed greens. And uh, vitamins are very useful in many chemical reactions to help your body grow and develop, including roles in metabolism, immunity, digestion, and they activate enzymes to function. So that basically covers everything that we need to know for organic nutrients. So just as a quick summary, we already know that they contain of uh, carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and vitamins. So those are the four main categories of organic substances. So now let's go over a little bit of what inorganic substances are. So inorganic nutrients, they are usually found naturally on earth. They are usually ionic compounds or elements except for water and they are non-containing carbon atoms. And uh, organic nutrients are also not broken down by the cooking or exposure to air. And these are often referred to as minerals. So inorganic nutrients are basically uh, minerals. And minerals are the inorganic elements and compounds that we need to consume because we cannot make them on our own. So for example, we always have those like vitamin C tablets or vitamin D tablets. So since we cannot make them on our own, we need like an extra supply of them so that we can still survive. So that's just a little bit of what inorganic uh, substances are. So now what is the importance of minerals or the inorganic substances? So first of all, all living things need at least 16 naturally occurring elements. And for plants, they need at least 18 elements. 
and for us humans, we need at least 22 elements. So it just shows how important minerals are and how many different varieties that we need for our bodies. So what are the two different types of minerals? So the first one is a macro mineral, and the second one is a trace element. So for the minerals that you need a lot of are called macro minerals, so that means you have to eat 100 mg a day or more. So, and then the other one is called trace elements, so minerals you only have to eat a little bit are called trace elements, which are usually found in enzymes and vitamins. And for this you have to eat 100 mg a day or less. So those are the two different types of minerals. Macro is more than 100 mg, and for trace it's less than 100 mg. And that basically sums up everything that we have for our nutrients uh, today. And that's also it for this video, so thank you so much for watching from Try To Be Useful. So please leave any comments down in the description below for any questions that you have. And if you don't, then we'll see you guys in our next video.